Spirit was never designed to last this long. You know, it was, the rover was never designed to go through Martian winter, and she went through three winters successfully. Um, they were never designed to survive rover killing dust storms, and yet Spirit survived uh, several significant dust storms. Spirit climbed the Husband Hills. It did Martian mountaineering, yet another thing it was never designed to do. So out of this rover that had a very limited uh, scope of mission to begin with, we were able to do these magnificent uh, adventures, uh, and, the, and the rover was very successful in all that. And it's a testament to the people that designed and built the rover, and a testament to the people that operated the rover on the surface. The whole mission has had a really amazing um, ability to turn what looks initially like it's going to be adversity into a great triumph. And Spirit, in particular, has really um, been known for this quality. One of the things that characterized Spirit on the surface of Mars was the ability of that rover to turn lemons into lemonade. A couple of years into the mission, uh, Spirit's right front wheel broke and we had to learn to drive the rover backwards, in fact, relearn how to drive the rover, and we would drag that wheel. But out of that adversity came perhaps the most significant scientific discovery on the surface of Mars. We were hoping that Spirit would find evidence of past water history at Mars, and not only did Spirit find evidence of a past water history at Mars, she found evidence of pH neutral water at Comanche Spur, and she found evidence of hot water existing and kind of acting for long periods of time. Um, in the, in the region near home plate that we call Silica Valley. Um, so from a science perspective, Spirit smashed expectations, right? She did way better than we would ever possibly have hoped for. What Spirit has told us is that Mars was one time like the Earth some three and a half to four billion years ago. There was liquid water on the surface, there was a thicker atmosphere, there were warmer temperatures, and there were even sources of energy, things like hot springs. These are all discoveries that Spirit has made. And this completely changes our, our thinking about Mars, that Mars was in fact at one time uh, a place that could have supported life. Spirit's legacy in terms of Mars exploration might be that she's making Mars a real place for us. She has helped us to see what we would see if we were there. But I also hope that she again has a broader legacy in towards of continuing to inspire people to explore, to reach out beyond what they think they can accomplish. We always knew there would come a time when one of the rovers wouldn't be there. That's the interesting thing, is that you do become very attached and you think of these rovers really as part of your team and part of your family. For years now, I've been getting the question, well, how are you going to feel when she's gone? And I've always had this image of sort of the, the New Orleans jazz funeral procession, where there's some sadness, of course, because Spirit has been essentially my entire career at JPL, working with these two rovers. There is just so much to celebrate. A life, if you will, that lasted beyond any expectation, discovered wonderful things. So it's very bittersweet. I'm always gonna be really proud of Spirit. You know, um, uh, Spirit was my first Mars rover, and if you've ever had a first car, uh, you know a little bit about what that's like. I have loved Spirit um, from the early days when it seemed like nobody else did, and I still do, and she's always gonna have a special place to me in my heart. Um, you know, I was there with her at the very beginning, and she just took me and everybody on a terrific ride uh, across the surface of Mars, showed us things that nobody has ever seen before in the history of, of humanity, opened up that other world for us and made it possible for us to see it for the first time as if we were there. And I'm always going to just be, you know, it's the kind of thing that I grew up dreaming about when I was a kid and to get a chance to do that for real uh, with my real life, um, you know, Spirit made that happen for me and, and she's always going to be special to me just for that alone.